take the printer out of this packet remove the protective tape so those are the ink bottles and the print heads manual and the power cable so plug in the power cable and start the printer to start the setup press the power button and switch on your printer and remove the protective tape from inside so we have to install the print heads here and lift this lock from here so we have set of two print heads remove the seal also remove this so that is the R so place it under the R so that goes to the L that means left press it down until you hear a lock sound so once we install the print heads you have to lock this section place it here take it out close it go to the next so this is filled in go to the next fill it in close it so this one is black close it and go to the last this is the gray take it out close it now lift this section up it will close just confirm that the ink tanks are filled in and press ok on the main screen click yes for the print head alignment so it's going to take two papers that's ok it's going to take around nine minutes for that Click yes if you want to download the new firmware. Setup is complete and press OK. To connect to a computer or your smartphone, press OK again. We just installed the ink and finished the initial setup of the printer. Next step is to connect this printer with the wireless network of your home or office. And then we will add in a Windows laptop for wireless printing and scanning. For the printer display panel, click on the setting icon, select Wi-Fi setup, scroll ahead, click on the manual connect, it will display the list of wireless networks, select your Wi-Fi, enter the password using these buttons, use setting icon for lowercase, uppercase, numbers, special character and this to select for example A to select numbers I can scroll ahead click here again for uppercase press and hold the OK button to apply the password confirm it click yes printer is connected to the wireless network press OK click on the setting icon you will see the main screen of the printer Go to Windows laptop and open the web browser. Type in Canon IJ Setup 650 Printer Driver Download. It will take you to the website. It will take you to the Canon website. Select your printer in the Canon website. Our printer is here. Scroll down and click on the drivers. It will detect your operating system. So this is the recommended driver for the printer click on the download download open file confirm yes that is the download window start setup click next click next confirm yes agree with the terms and conditions 
On next screen it will display printer, wireless router and your laptop. So that is a correct. Click yes. Printer is connected. Click next. Setup is complete. Continue online. Close all the windows. We can start using it for printing and scanning. For example, to do the print, load the paper in the rear paper tray. Confirm the paper settings. Select any document you want to print. Click on the print icon, select your printer G600 series and click print. For scanning we can open the lid and place a page on the scanner facing down. Now there are two options to do the scanning. You can use a windows scan app. For that you can go to your laptop. In the search section type in windows scan. You can download this app from the microsoft office. Select your scanner G600 series, source flatbed and you can also select the type of your file that is PDF or JPEG and click on the scan. Scan is done. If you want you can click on the view and it will display the scanned item. Second method is to do the scan to computer. For that you have to go to the display panel. Click on the scan icon. It will go to the scan mode. Click on the save to press ok. Scroll ahead and select your laptop or computer name and press ok. Press ok. Press ok again and you will see your printer name. Now click on the black or color for scanning. It will automatically open a window in your windows laptop screen and it will also open the scanned file. Scan is transferred and you can just open the scanned file. That's the complete setup of the printer. Thanks for watching. In the last we are going to do the copy with this printer. For copy we can use the scanner bed. You can place a page on the top. Place it facing down. Go to the display panel. You will see there is a copy icon. Click on it. It will go to the copy mode. If you want to increase the number of copies use this button 2, 3 like that. If you want to make more changes, click on the menu. It will take you to the special copy. If you scroll ahead, it will enlarge or reduce copy, copy intensity, page size, media type, print quality. So there are so many things we can do with this printer. Once we are ready, click on the black or color.
let's see the print quality so it has printed really clear and it is printing in a good condition now you can also print thousand of photos with this printer and if you want to know how to print photos and what is the print quality review you can watch my video on that so that's all about this printer so we just completed the initial setup then we did the wireless setup after that we installed this printer in a windows laptop for wireless printing and scanning you can also install it in a macbook in the same way once we are ready then we can start using it for printing and scanning and copy thanks for watching